Y'all have no idea how nervous I am right now. We got River hanging out in the background back there. So how was your guys week last week? Um, mine was good. I got all the things on my list checked off except for reaching my word count goal, which, you know, that's okay. Still going good. I, I mean, you saw I had over 36,000 words and that's insane because that's like, I'm over halfway done with the full uh, word count that I want to reach for the final version. So I'm not mad, not mad. Uh, so anyway, this week I do have something interesting coming up. Um, my sister is having a yard sale in like this big community area. And I had the idea of what if I get, you know, what inventory I have together and do like a little impromptu book signing. It would just be, you know, for my local community, of course. Um, but I thought that would be kind of neat. And I... I'm excited, but I also know that this is going to go one of two ways. So either I'm going to get no sales except for like maybe one, or I'm going to sell out of all the inventory I have and have to turn people away. Of course, I mean, I guess I could always send them to my website. I'm going to need to get some business cards together. I, this is extremely last minute, so I'm going to like bust my butt trying to like make little flyers and um, get the goodies together that go with my books. So you're mostly going to be seeing that this week because that's all I'm going to really have time to work on. Other than Wednesday, of course, my day off, I'm going to try to like crack down that word goal and probably make both of my Patreon videos so that... I don't have to worry about Saturday because Saturday is the book signing. <laughs> also, before I forget, like I always forget, my name is Ashley Nicole and I am a self-published author. I have a dark fantasy series, a young adult dystopian series, and a zombie dog thriller. I post um, extra exclusives and calendar pages on my Patreon and I do weekly, weekly vlogging writing videos. Whatever these are. <laughs> um, so if you like what you see, just feel free to hit the like button, leave a comment. Um, mostly we talk about goals here. We try to hold each other accountable, and that way we all move forward with what we want to do, whether that's writing-related or life-related. Um, I just like hearing about how you are succeeding. And, and if you want to keep up to date with things that I post, make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell notification. I post regularly on Mondays, but if I have any extra videos, I'll post them throughout the week. Um, so if you don't want to miss them, make sure you are subscribed. Hi, baby. Are you bird watching? I don't see any birds out there. You're such a good girl. Don't fall. <laughs> So I have started working on my flyers and I figured this would be nice to like have like the prices like available plus I run a special if you get both the first book in the series plus its companion short story um, you get you save four dollars um, which is also a discount special thing that I also have on my website um, so this is not just for this weekend this is all the time so if you do want both you can still do that I figured, though, this would kind of let people know, you know, genres, um, prices, everything kind of like up front. That way, if people are there to buy my books, they don't ask a billion times how much they are. I mean, we're people and we're going to still do that. But, you know, I'm, I, I try to shut down some of it. And then I also made this um, just to see if I, 
you know, if people would rather order from my website or just want to not order today or something like that, um, they can scan the QR code, which will take them to my website and they can order there. Um, but yeah, I thought they turned out really nice. I'm also working on my business cards. I had a very rough copy of them, but I feel like I like this design better. It's just a little less busy, but it kind of has everything important. The little QR code will take you to my website. Um, and then plus all my social media so that they can connect with me elsewhere. I really, really, really wanted to have a cat silhouette just because I am trying to have cats as more of my branding thing just because of River and Stormy always in my videos and they're definitely a big part of my life. Not that they have anything to do with writing, but they have to do with me as a person and as an author. But putting the little cat on there was definitely too crowded. But while I was making the business cards, I also needed to make new banners for my Facebook cover and my Twitter header and different things like that. So I was able to add both Stormy and River without making it too cluttered. And I am obsessed. Happy Tuesday! No kitty cats currently. I'm sure they'll show up. They've been all over my things today while I'm trying to gather my materials. Um, so I just got off work and I have started getting together um, my books and the extra goodies and kind of playing around with like the promotional things that I'm going to sit on the table. I'll insert some clips so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Um, I do think I should be doing some writing because I am putting a lot of like effort into this book signing, but in case it's kind of a flop, which I'm trying to set like my bar kind of low just so I'm not overly disappointed. Um, in case it is a flop, I need to be doing something a little more productive. So I am going to get some writing in really fast. Um, Tuesdays I do try to... Tuesdays I do try to end my um, writing work. I don't know what's with all the quotations today. Don't ask. But Tuesdays I do try to finish my writing work a little earlier just so that I can spend some time with my fiancé. We usually watch some Doctor Who. Um, just because I work all day and then he works all day and we go bowling and there's just different things throughout the week. So it's nice to have Tuesday evenings just for us to do things together. So I'm going to do a quick writing sprint and then I'll get back into hanging out with him. here to kind of like see what inventory I had of all of my books and plus my extra goodies um, like Haven. Haven has um, its own bookmarks with the cute little tassel and bird charm. But anyway, irrelevant. I just have to show you how cute this light is. Like I am obsessed. It is adorable. That is all. Now I'm trying to get all of my bonus material together. So Haven, since it's my newest release and I was trying to be a little extra, it does have its own bookmarks. And then the bookmarks has a tassel with a little bird charm because birds are very significant. Um, if you read the book, you can see that. It also comes with stickers, which I need to print off more. Um, but you get Amelia's journal, um, the bird in the cage, again, symbolism. 
um, just a little title sticker. And then these are like my chapter headers. So I thought they'd be cute if you wanted to write something in the middle. Um, I'll show you. There you go. My little chapter headers. Um, kind of the bird flying over the wall kind of thing. Um, MCV 20 plus. So um, the virus in the book, they call it MCV for short, but it's the more Serta virus. Hello, Stormy. Um, and then if you have a plus, then that means you're positive, of course. And then Clang, the real MVP, which Clang is a very, very underrated side character that people have decided that they really like. So now there's a sticker. I also have a sketch um, from one of the characters, Charlie, that I also put into the book, but I don't have any printed currently, so I need to do that. But then my other books... Um, since I didn't do all the extra, you still get a bookmark. They're just a little more generic, but they're kind of cute and kind of quirky. And then you also get, um, some sort of book sticker with it. I've got, I don't know, so many different designs. There, there's just, there's a, there's a lot happening. Um, but again, this is true if you order from my website. Um, you also still get all of the goodies, all of the extras. You also get a drink packet, and it gets wrapped up um, with, like, vintage aesthetic, ma'am, vintage aesthetic wrapping. Um, if I have one wrapped, I will show you just so you could see. Quick side note, I have, like, this beehive crown going on, and you couldn't see it in the last video, and I had to share because I find it very comical that it's just, you're welcome. Where'd your likes go? Oh, there they are. Did your motorcycle fall over? So I ordered these like little book stands from Amazon and I mean, dummy me, I, thought it was a pack of four because I have four books but apparently it was like four inches or something like that. I only got two so I'm going to see if I can order another set and hopefully have them here by Saturday but they look really nice holding my books. Like what is it about putting your book on a stand that's just like that's my book on a stand. I don't know. It's just something about it but Figured, you know, have that one here, and then I can put Change of Breed over here on this one. And that's how I'll display it, and I'll do the same thing for hmm, uh, Sacrificial Lamb and Side Effects. But that way, you know, somebody would be like, oh, that's a young adult dystopian. I wonder what it's about. And then they can flip it over and be like, that's what it's about. Yes, I'll buy this. You know, that's that's how I imagine it going, right? It just got super dark, and it is hammering the rain. Oh my gosh. There's so much lighting. What do you think, buddy? Kind of scary, huh? of my books so one of each so you know not terrible um, they're also doing like a barbecue dinner here in the same parking lot so it's kind of getting us a little more um, business I guess um, I had a lot of people stop and look um, I do have my bookmarks and stickers set up for free and people are taking those so that's good um, I'll keep you updated given out a 
couple of um, of my uh, coupons. I had made some discount codes for my website um, just for people who stopped by and looked at my table. Um, and I had a couple people who said they're going to go on my website and buy some. We'll see. Um, but it's still cool to kind of get the word out. Um, and that people are actually stopping, looking at the books. It, it does feel good. Even if they're not buying right now, it's still getting it out. Happy Sunday! So, it is planning day. I am changing into a different type of planner. Um, and I think I'm going to make a video kind of going more in depth about how I do my planning. And I'll probably put that up on Patreon for anyone who's interested. Um, but I'll kind of show you what I did, you know, here real quick. And I did a little bit of July's monthly planning because July does start next week, this week. Yeah, July is here. And then I planned out the week. But then I also have some daily pages now, so I planned out Monday. So, um, this is using the HB90 system um, by Sarah Cannon. So, I can link her channel down below just so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. She goes way more in depth than I'm going to. Um, I mean, it is her system, so she do, she do her, you know? Um, but... I'm starting a different draft to this, starting a different draft this week, um, as soon as I wrap up ha Haven Book 2, and I am doing some more outlining for a different book. So the plan is to kind of tentatively draft a book each month this quarter, and it doesn't have to be like a complete draft, it can be very raw. Um, because I can edit a raw draft. It's just putting it out there first. So let me just show you my planner. Okay, so I did a key just to kind of break down like the different books and like I have YouTube, Patreon, and then like admin stuff. But then I started laying out the month. It doesn't have everything on there and like some of this may change around. But then this is my goals for the week. Um, how I'm going to split up my time. Um, again, this is based on the HB90 system. So these are like called task blocks, but essentially they're like half hour blocks of time. And then for my weekly layout, I kind of um, put tentatively where I want to do things for the week. I know I'm going to have a lot of more time on Wednesdays. Um, so I got more things on Wednesdays. And then the weekends, I have more time. We do have a bowling tournament this weekend. Um, I'm not bowling. My fiancé is. So we'll be away. But I should be able to get a lot of writing done still. Just because I am kind of adapted to writing in bowling alleys. Just bring a good pair of headphones. Um, and then this is what I was looking at for tomorrow. So over here, I kind of have a timeline of my day. Um... And then here is just kind of what I want to accomplish. Um, just posting on social media, um, researching. I have a book funnel and I have a story origin for my books. But I don't use them to their full capacity. And I feel like I should just pick one. So if you have a preference of which one you'd rather use, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Um... I think I'm leaning towards story origin, but I would like to research, you know, what each of them offers before making a decision. Um, so wrapping up Haven is on my list, and then um, starting an outline for a, um, my other book. I just want to start in on her character. Um, and then I use Sarah Cannon's outlining method, and then also Save the Cat outlining method. Um, that gives me, like, a good idea of the character, like the flaws, the wants, the needs, the goals, all that sort of thing. So that should be easy to do. And then tomorrow I will plan for Tuesday. Just to wrap up for yesterday um, at the book signing at the yard sale, I ended up selling a copy of each of my books to one person. 
and then I sold another copy of Haven and I handed out several of my business cards as well as discount codes for my website. So in this coming week, we will see if I get any orders that way. Um, I will, of course, keep you posted, but I just kind of wanted to give you that quick wrap up. I overall really enjoyed it. It was nice to like talk to people because people would stop at my table and they would be like, oh, did you write these? And then I'm just be like, yes, I wrote this and this and this and this is what it's about and this is why. And it was cool to actually just talk to people, which I don't normally like doing. <laughs> but anyway, um, but I am going to get some coffee and crack down on Haven Book 2 and we will end the night there.